Hello, my name is Father Michael and welcome back to Friar Art. Last week, we looked at a beautiful painting by the German Romantic painter Caspar Friedrich. The Romanticism cultural movement is indeed growing and spreading all over the world. Romantic artists are challenging the norm and introducing masterpieces that are influenced by the painter's emotions and sentiments. In France, for instance, the work of the artist Eugène Delacroix were much celebrated. Delacroix is widely regarded as the pioneer of the Romantic movement in the 19th century French art. Many will say that his life and work incarnated the Romanticism movement's concern for passion, emotion, and the sublime. Born in 1798 in France, Delacroix revolutionized painting with his talent in creating dynamic and exciting images. His paintings were always filled with lush, agitated brushworks and pulsating vibrant colors, a style that was in direct contrast to the much cooler and controlled mark making of the other artists in his time. As a result, many famous artists were inspired by the works and techniques of Delacroix. Artists like Van Gogh, Matisse, Monet, and Degas were just a few of whom had been influenced by the great French Romantic. The subject of the Lacroix's work varies from classical scenes from the writings of Shakespeare and Byron to exotic images he created on his tour of North Africa and dramatic biblical depictions. One of his most celebrated works is a painting inspired by a New Testament story. It is entitled Christ in the Sea of Galilee, which was painted in 1853. The painting depicts a sleeping Jesus amidst the raging sea with the scrambling disciples around him. Christ is peacefully sleeping, surrounded by a golden halo on his head. Meanwhile, a group of frantic men, his disciples, are struggling to control the boat that is being tossed by an enormous storm. The bright and rich red in the boat truly complements the raging deep green of the water. The viewer's point of view is also quite striking, for you are allowed to see, to experience, and almost to feel the chaos that is happening inside the boat, in contrast with the peacefulness of Jesus' nap. Now when I look at this painting, I cannot help but feel like those disciples, arms flailing and panicking when I feel like I am in the middle of a huge storm. The storm of life often comes unexpectedly, rocking our boats and causing us to lose calm, panicking and afraid that our boat might sink, unexpectedly losing a job, being hurt or betrayed by a trusted person, dealing with a personal sickness, or taking care of a sick child or a parent. These are just some of unexpected storms of life that can truly rock our boat. However, we must always remember that Jesus is always there with us. He is there with us in our boat, just like the Lacroix painting. He is there with us, especially when we are in the middle of the storm. And so, as we travel together on this third week of Lent, as we journey together in this boat called life, Remember when these raging unexpected storms are on the horizon to trust in the presence of our good God. Just like Delacroix's painting, Jesus is always there with us. Jesus is always there in our boat, in our spirits, and in our hearts.